What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Stay Safe Real News Network. This is Classic Wild Weekly, and I am your host, Stay Safe. And boy, do we have some stuff to talk about today. Some big stuff. According to some new data that was recently released, Classic Wow is actually killing it. And we're going to dive into the specifics of all that. But first, in some other news, Warsong Gold jumps are bannable, I guess, according to this GM. According to a recent player interaction with the GM, Warsong Gold jumps are considered terrain abuse let's take a look now the gm reaches out to the player and says greetings this is game master my Stella, and i require a brief moment of your time sure thing i received some reports about you abusing terrain in wars on gulch and i wanted to speak with you about it not a problem is it the jump that you just supported me out of is that a no-go the gm says that the walkway above the tunnel, basically anything that requires creative jumping to get to. Player says, gotcha. Assuming that includes all the graveyard jumps also, and the GM responds with, I know it's tempting, but ultimately it is considered terrain abuse. The player says, yeah, at this point I'm not going to be action. Oh, sorry, the GM says, at this point, yeah, I'm not going to be actioning your account, but future occurrences can and will result in your account being suspended the player says gotcha definitely noted apologies i had no idea that this was abuse no one had any idea this was abuse no one knew the gm says no worries that's why i would rather warn you so we can stop it instead of just jumping to a suspension thank you for your understanding and cooperation i won't take up any more of your time but i do hope that you have a good day now, anyone that PvPs knows that the jumps like this and Warsaw Gold are a huge part of the meta and are used literally thousands of times on a daily basis every single day by pretty much every pre-made that knows what they're doing and aren't terrible. Which makes the GM interaction really shocking, actually, because everyone does them always and they have always done these. Is this another instance of a World of Warcraft GM, Classic WoW GM, having no idea what the hell they're talking about? Or is Blizzard actually trying to crack down on jumps like this? And starting with small steps like this, probably it's a GM having no idea what the hell they're talking about. But either way, jump carefully. Now, in our next story, coronavirus is spreading around the globe. And now, Classic WoW players in Azeroth are starting to get infected as well. Pulled up. At this point, you're going to need to equip a hazmat suit before checking your mailbox in World of Warcraft. Because someone is sending out Wuhan bat soup to innocent... Classic WoW players, and I for one, am sick of having to recruit new people to my guild because all of my raiders are dying to coronavirus. Light some candles and slap yourself on the ass for this next bit of news. In the next couple days, Love is in the Air, the in-game Valentine's Day event, is coming to Classic WoW. Now, Love is in the Air is available in Classic WoW beginning February 11th through February 16th for those looking for a little bit of love in a hostile world. As the Horde, you can head over to Orgrimmar, and if you're Alliance, you can head over to Stormwind to take part. Now, let's be real, not many of us talk to girls in real life, so this holiday event is a great opportunity to at least maybe get plastered and pretend that we're talking to girls in-game. Thanks, I guess. Now, in other news, Blackwing Lair, as you all know by now, is out in less than a week. But if you've been kind of on the fence with Classic WoW or feeling kind of burned out recently with Classic WoW, is Blackwing Layer going to make Classic WoW significantly more fun for you if you haven't been having a lot of fun as of late? Now, personally, I don't think Blackwing Layer adds a ton to the game outside of another raid to do each week. When will the game get some additions that are more fun for the casual gamer? Now, Phase 4, I think, is definitely the Phase of fun. Arathi Basin, Zul'Garab, and the four Green Dragon bosses really help cater to a more sort of relaxed, casual gameplay style, and it really adds a lot of life back into the world. In fact, Phase 4 is my personal most anticipated phase of Classic. Now, that being said, Blackwing Layer is going to be a really nice change of pace, that is for sure. At this point, I'd like to give a special shout out to the sponsor of this video, Debra. After announcing last week that 100% of my audience is men, I had a woman reach out to me, and her name was Deborah, and she actually wanted to tell me that she enjoys listening to my videos on her drive to her Zumba lessons. She's 57 years old and thinks that I'm very handsome. Thanks, Deborah. In other news, according to a popular Classic WoW Alliance the Horde, Horde to Alliance translation website, you can see the most famous 
translations going both ways. If you look at the Horde 2 Alliance translations, it's things like anal kill, racial slurs, not good, lol, mwahahaha. It's crazy stuff. You look at what the Alliance is saying to the Horde, me love you. This is embarrassing for the Horde. The Alliance is full of good boys. The Horde, very, very naughty. Not good. And before anyone says it, I just want to clarify, I 100% did not cherry pick things to back up my case here, okay? That's not what's going on at all. Okay, let's talk server health and how Classic WoW is doing as we continue pushing into 2020. Let's take a look. Now, according to Ironforge.pro, which lists every single player per server who is logged on Warcraft logs in the last two weeks, approximately 300,000 level 60s have raided in the last two weeks between Europe, America, and Russia. Now, keep in mind that this number is missing several regions such as Oceanic, Latin America, and most notably, Asia, where Classic WoW is extremely popular, and of course this website only logs level 60 players that have, like I said, been logged in Warcraft logs during a Molten Core or an Ixie raid. So it is very likely that there are actually still 1 million plus active players each week worldwide when all this is taken into account. In addition, Activision Blizzard recently... Re <laughs> recently released their 2019 quarter four earnings information, which is summarized very nicely by this recent PC Gamer article. Let's pull it up. PC Gamer says, when World of Warcraft Classic went live in August 2019, we pondered the question of its long-term viability. Some of us believed that it would have legs to stand on, at least as long as Blizzard continued to provide updates, while others expected it to be a flash in the pan of nostalgia. Now it's still early, but at this point it looks like those who bet on its durability are going to come out on top. Activision said during today's quarter four financial presentation that World of Warcraft's quote active player community quote at the end of 2019 defined as players with monthly or longer subscriptions was more than double what it was at the end of the second quarter, which uh, sorry, less than two months prior to the launch of Classic WoW. Current monthly subs are more than double what they were prior to Classic WoW. And here's the thing. In my opinion, the worst part of Classic WoW is the first three phases. That's where we're at right now, to be honest. The second half of Classic WoW ages like a fine wine. So honestly, things are looking up. That's my opinion. We got, you know, Zul'Garub, Phase 4, you know, on Encourage, Green Dragons, Arathi Basin, Nax Ramus. There's a ton of stuff that's on the horizon. The best half of Classic WoW is on the horizon. That's what I'm trying to say. But the thing is, for sure, despite its ups and downs, and there's been some ups and downs so far, let's be honest, Classic WoW has been a success so far. And it's absolutely owning. And I think it's only going to get better. I also want to talk briefly about the server balance situation because there are several servers that are either super horde dominated or super alliance dominated, pretty much to the point of being unplayable for the underdog faction. But ultimately, the overarching problem is there's just too many freaking horde players. And here's the thing. If the total population breakdown across all servers is something like 65-35, you know, horde is obviously the 65 there is nothing Blizzard can do other than offer server transfers and hope things go well. This is a problem that's been created by the players, which means that the solution has to come from the players as well. And that solution is just play Alliance. And I can tell you from experience, it's like they say, once you go ally, you um, Alliance is just better. So guys, that's going to wrap up this week's episode of Classic Wild Weekly on the Stay Safe Real News Network. If you haven't already, make sure to like the video and subscribe and ring the bell. It's very important. That stuff lets me know that you enjoy the videos and that I should keep on making the classic WoW news videos every week on a weekly basis. Also, make sure to stay up to date with everything that's going on outside of YouTube and off of YouTube by checking out all the links down below in the video description is where all that stuff is at. Guys, thanks for watching. And as always, stay safe.